What is the monad? The word monad is derived from the Greek monos, or singularity. The word was used by Pythagoras around 500 BCE to describe the first being or first thing that came into existence, a single indivisible source acting alone to create reality. The monad is the one intelligent cause of everything, the absolute source of creation. In science, it is the singularity, before the Big Bang, from which our physical universe emerged. Pythagoras used the circled dot symbol to designate the monad, a dimensionless point bounded by the circumference of the circle. The symbol conveys the idea of a brilliant point of light establishing a boundary of light in the darkness. This same symbol became associated with the sun and the solar metal gold. Pythagoras developed a cosmology based on the pre-existing monad that became the dominant metaphysical model of creation for nearly 2,000 years. In Pythagoras's model, known as the Tetractus, the first ten numbers are viewed as points of creation arranged in a triangular pattern in four rows. The source point, with zero dimensions, is the monad, or unity. The next level is the dyad, or duality, which creates power and movement through the interaction of opposites in one dimension, i.e. a line with two points. The third level, the triad, represents harmony through the reconciliation of opposites. This level has two dimensions, i.e. a plane defined by a triangle of three points. The fourth level of the tetrad represents the four elements of creation in the physical universe. This level has three dimensions, i.e. a solid tetrahedron defined by four points. The four rows of points in the tetractus add up to ten, which is a higher order unity called the decad. The Pythagoreans worshipped the tetractus as the key to the universe. The first-century Alexandrian alchemist prophet Maria Prophetissima became famous for her description of the movement of the divine mind through the pattern of the Tetractus. One becomes two, two becomes three, and out of the third comes the one as the fourth. Maria's axiom succinctly captures the mystical mechanism at work in Pythagorean cosmology. From the dimensionless oneness of the monad was born the duality of the dyad through the projection, or speaking, of the logos, the word. The dyad naturally becomes the triad by the reconciliation of opposites that creates a new third thing, and out of that is manifested the intended logos of the monad. In Hermetic literature, the monad is known as the one mind and is completely separate from the world, while the dyadic level of creative power is referred to as the mind of nature, or simply, mind the maker. The monadic model of the Pythagoreans has greatly influenced Western philosophy, religion, and science, and similar ideas of the monad have taken root in Eastern traditions. Throughout the world, even in the most primitive tribal cultures, this primeval pattern of creation is played out in countless myths and rituals.